I read in the news this term uh, net neutrality yes. a lot, and yes. it's, it's very confusing. I still don't really understand uh, quite what it is. I was wondering if you could give kind of a layman's uh, explanation if, yeah. if, you, if you could do that. Thank you. Net neutrality, what the hell is that? That was, that was his question, with slightly fewer words. The idea is that the companies that operate the networks that connect us all, the Verizons, the Comcast, you know, mostly cable and phone companies, based on how we've structured the US side of the broadband equation, they want to do more than just operate a highway and a throughway. They want to operate services on top of that. So Verizon doesn't just want to be a quote unquote dumb pipe. They want to sell you stuff within and on top of that pipe. In so doing, it's like, like television. Like Verizon has a television service that runs over top of their pipe. Now where you get a possible conflict is the internet has been predicated so far in general on best effort delivery of service. Like, good luck. Send your packets out there, they'll reassemble magically on the other end, and there's not a lot of heavy manipulation in between to prioritize one packet over another packet. When you introduce a business conflict, that says, okay, the person who operates the network is also selling stuff on the network that competes with people who are just selling stuff on the network. These network people have an incentive to prioritize their network goodies over this other person. So in the case of Verizon, they could demote YouTube's delivery and degrade their quality of service in favor of their Fios TV service quality. And because we don't have any transparency into the operations of this private enterprise, we can't know for certain. Um, same with telephone services, Skype versus the phone company, a video service versus the cable company. When you have a very strong business incentive, you're probably gonna do it, because that's what you're supposed to do. Like as a business organism, you're aligned toward those goals. Now you might be a really good person, but in terms of maximizing shareholder value and all that stuff, you might have to just do the thing that makes the most sense, whether you're an evil person or not. So net neutrality is about trying to create rules that prevents people from succumbing to that temptation. Treat everybody equally to some degree. You operate the network well for everybody. It becomes important when you think about the origin of ideas, innovation, generation, where does stuff come from? It doesn't really come from Verizon, right, beyond a certain point. What's the greatest innovation from the phone company lately? <laughs> Texting? I think that's the last big thing they came up with, and it kind of sucks. <laughs> Have you ever tried to text someone and they just, I didn't get your text, you prove that? Like, there's no verification whatsoever. There's no acknowledgement path. You could just lose your phone. People are texting you on an old number. You have no way of letting them know the new number. It's a terrible service. Uh, so, and when you look at the new stuff that's coming up, whether it's a new video service, a new housing service, like an Airbnb, a new drug measuring service, how does that little entity get a shot at the big game if the people who provide the playing field also provide players <laughs> and concessions, right, and refs? So you're not just going to the ballpark, you're going into enemy territory. And if you don't have some assurance that you're gonna get a fair shot, then TiVo of the future might never happen. YouTube of the future might never happen. Snapchat might never happen. And what would we do without Snapchat? And other things of actual value to society. And then when you think about the political threats, it gets even more interesting in terms of censorship and monitoring, et cetera. So that was long-winded, but hopefully understandable layman-wise about what net neutrality sort of technically is and what some of the stakes are. It's incomplete, but that's, that's as good as I can do right now. Yeah.